since 2008 that there's a bigger conflict coming. That's why he said this at Ave Maria University. Jim, this is not a political war at all. This is not a cultural war at all. This is a spiritual war. And the father of lies has his sights on what you would think the father of lies, Satan, would have his sights on. A good, decent, powerful, influential country, the United States of America. If you were Satan, who would you attack in this day and age? There is no one else to go after other than the United States. That's right, folks. The only one Satan is attacking is us, God's favorite country. All the bad stuff happening in the other parts of the world, starvation, genocide, slavery, that's not Satan. So it must be God working in mysterious ways that we must not question. But raising the U.S. marginal tax rate on the top 1%, folks, that's why the serpent got into this game. <laughs> Satan loves big government. I mean, what was the apple but the original food stamp? Rick knows. Rick knows that the father of lies is coming for us in all his forms. Lucifer, Beelzebub, Mephistopheles, Old Nick, Old Scratch, Old Bomber. And that's why, if Rick Santorum is commander-in-chief, he will do what no other president has had the courage to do. Declare war on hell. It's simple. All we have to do is take our nuclear missiles out of their silos and put them back in upside down. <laughs> Rick is the only one who sees this. I find it pretty suspicious that Obama does not have a contingency plan to destroy the center of the earth. We'll be right back.